Giving up, everyone. Got a career change. First, we need to get this bag inside. Oh my goodness. I love being able to, uh, you know, share with all of you when I come up short. I definitely came up short in the Rotterdam Marathon training block with respect to prehab work and taking care of the body. As I always say, not getting any younger. And who, not the question of the day, who has seen the prehab vlog? I will link to it below in the description. Also, upper right hand corner right now. Go click on that link. It's an hour, I think it's over an hour of just exercises. I can't do it all today, but exercises that I do usually and yes, actually, I'm gonna do two questions of the day. The first one is, let me just pull out a few items here. All right, get these, uh, get these going. I think that will be good for now, yes. Okay, so um, prehab question of the day part one is, do you have time for strength work or prehab? It's a play on uh, prevention and then rehab. So instead of going to rehab at a physical therapist, oh, I'm glad I mentioned that. Glad I thought of this right now. Hold on. Before you do anything, make sure you talk to your doctor or your physical therapist, your physio. All right. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a. I'm not a physician. So go consult a medical professional before you do anything that I'm about to show you. And also, I was shocked when the physical therapist two years ago for my runner's knee told me that I thought I was gonna go into the physical therapist's office, office and work this area around my knee. Instead, we worked my hips and my glutes two years ago. Same with this new issue, the issue that I have with my hamstring. Weak hips, weak glutes. That is why I need to focus, focus, and it's, my, it's gotta be my, jo it's gotta be my job. It's gotta be my focus. It's, I cannot let up. Uh, and even, even, even when this does go away, it's staying on top of it no matter what. Through all the mountains, all the track work, and that's probably where it started was the track work, not getting any younger, okay? Leading into Rotterdam is just going fast around the circles. So, anywho, we're working through it, everybody. Not giving up on uh, Zagama. Let's dive in, and, but first of all, why the weak hips? Why work on the hips? Why work on the glutes? So, uh, the gluteus maximus, the medius, and the deep hip rotators, the effect of improving the strength of these muscles is twofold. First of all, less dominance of the hamstrings with running and other activities, and a reduced degree of hip adduction, inwards collapsing of the thigh toward the midline, okay? and internal rotation, inwards rotation of the hips. The net effect of this is a reduced adverse load at the site of the hamstring insertion onto the sitting bone. And that's the pain that I have right now, right on that sitting bone, right on the, the buns. And as we get going here, so I've got the foam roller, I've got a resistance band, and then I've also got ankle weights, okay? I'll talk about those in a minute. And these are all movements, exercises that I've learned from my physical therapist. But uh, again, consult yours before attempting any of this, all right? If you are in pain, okay? But again, it's the glutes and the hips. It's unbelievable how that impacts knees, uh, pain in the knees, runner's knee. In my case right now, the proximal hamstring tendinopathy. Okay, first of all, we are doing the sideline hip abduction with foam roller, okay? So I do two sets of 12 um, without the resistance band and then two sets of 12 with the resistance band. So you're here, your, your leg that's on the ground is just slightly bent and then I like to use the foam roller as just a little challenge to get up and over it. Okay, again, I learned this from my physical therapist. And you know, you could have a pillow underneath you as well if that helps. I'm just using my arm right now, but it's just a simple. Um, and then, yes, this leg is straight, okay? So we go whoop, over, okay? And the key is a slow movement, okay? Slow, so that's one, and each side, okay? So. It's a lot, it takes time, and that's why I asked that question the day at the beginning. And the key is slow, slow. And it's hard, okay, to go slow. Now over time, you can add a resistance band, okay? So there's, oh, it feels really, really good to add a resistance band, okay? So again, going up and over this foam roller and back. And there's different types of resistance bands with different, um, yeah, just different strength. 
Ooh, feels so good. And it starts to, you can feel it right in that hip. It's amazing, everybody. I'm telling you, at first you don't feel like you're working and then it, it just hits you. We're like, okay, yeah, there's my weakness. And then over time, you can add the ankle weights. Now, these are a little heavy. Um, you might want to go with like two pound ankle weights. I believe these are five pounds. So they're just a little heavy. Um, I'm actually not using these right now because I'm just getting going back into it. But, uh, ooh, oh, it feels good, everybody. So again, the key is to go slow, up and over, up and over. There we go. So it's just like a dot, you know, you want your back straight. You don't want your back curved. You want your back straight. You want a good foundation with your hands and your, your knees here. And then um, you lift your leg up like a dog at a fire hydrant. Okay. So I was rotating too much there. My hips, you want your, you want to stay nice and straight to the ground. You want the movement to happen in your hip, not in your back. Not, you don't want to be rotating your whole body. Okay. So I'm just going up and down and you know I should probably do my this leg okay so again you can add uh, resistance with ankle weights and but don't start with ankle weights but so boom see I'm gonna take this I'm gonna take this off actually so I do three sets of 12 each leg three sets of 12 each leg so fire hydrant okay just for that dog oh and again see I rotated too much there again we're just trying to Strengthen those, oh, it feels really good, everybody. And again, this is to reduce the uh, amount of pressure you are putting on that high hamstring oh, while running. Next up, number three, donkey kicks, okay? Just like it sounds. And with all of this, you can add resistance bands and ankle weights, okay? So it's just straight back. Again, you want a good solid foundation. You don't want that back bent. And then straight back. Straight back, straight back, okay. Oh, feels really good, okay. And then another leg, and this is again, once again, three sets of 12, each leg, okay. You wanna point that toe at the end, point that toe at the end. Again, buns of steel, everybody. Hips of steel, just bulletproofing bulletproofing those legs that we put so much into as runners, all right? And slower the better, all right? And at least that's what my physical therapist tells me, just slower the better with the movement. And next up, single leg bridge, okay? Three by 12, same deal, so you wanna, okay, here we go, you ready? So you want your back on the ground, you can use your elbows on the ground as well for some support, all right? You put your hips in the air and you really want those hips like, you want a launching pad, a 45 degree angle launching pad off the ground, okay? And then you want one leg, oh, it's hard, everybody. You want, and you can start, eventually you might, you can hold your arms kind of like cross them, but I would start with elbows on the ground just for really good uh, support so you're not wobbling too much. And then uh, once that leg, once the leg is pointed into the air, all right, that 45 degree angle, you're gonna drop your, your rump, you're gonna drop your buns to the ground, and then you're gonna bring them up, okay, to that, to that angle. Uh, and you want this leg to move in uh, parallel with a leg that's doing the work, okay? So I'll probably have to get another angle here in a minute, just so you can see. So this is a single leg bridge, three sets of 12, but again, you have to, you're probably gonna have to work up to it. Listen to your personal physical therapist, okay? I'm actually gonna switch legs because I wore myself out talking. Okay, so take some focus, I must say, like just to make sure you have good form, all right? So single leg bridge, I'm doing okay, but the talking, <laughs> sometimes it's a little distracting, okay? Okay, let me just switch over. All right, let me get a different, let me just get a different angle so you can see. Okay, there we go. All right, so once again, this is my leg that is hurting. Okay, so once again, shoo, shoo. 
So I would recommend everybody watching, you add single leg bridge over time, you know, work into it. You can start with double, okay? You can start with double leg, no problemo. Just boom, okay? Boom. It's like, you're, it's amazing how much that's working the glutes, the hips, and the hamstrings, okay? So that's a big reason why I probably came down with this, uh, this niggle that I'm dealing with. By the way, so while I'm doing this, okay, I'm gonna go back to single leg. There is the run this morning, some footage from the run. Okay, I'm still working. I've got a race in three weeks, about three weeks, and I'm not giving up, okay? But I gotta be responsible for my new job. My new day job is, is making sure I'm bulletproofing my legs, okay? So, there you go, okay. One more movement, one more exercise. Let's go over to the couch. Okay, last but not least, you're gonna need a bed or a couch, preferably something a little more firm than this, but this is all I have right now. And this is active hip external rotations, okay? This is a little soft, but you want your hips square, okay? You want your hips stacked right on top of each other. This leg on the bottom is bent. So is this one, 90 degrees, okay? It's a little hard to see, and again, um, I'm just gonna lay like this, but you want your leg to fall down and then come up. Fall down and come up, and go slow, and oh my my. So, I do two sets of 50 for each leg, and you might think, wow, that's a lot, and it is, but once you get to maybe about 20, you're gonna start to feel it, everybody. This is amazing, okay? Again, this, this couch is a little soft. If you have access to a fir more firm couch or a more firm bed, that would be great. Uh, but you're letting your leg, okay? And let me just move the camera so you can see. And what you can do, okay, is of course, as with everything I've mentioned today, is add a resistance band where you put the resistance band under the couch or under the bed. Let's see if I can get it under there. Okay, you connect, this might be, this might not work here, but okay, so, and then, whoo, see that, that band is a little too much resistance for me right now. Okay, but there you go. That's how we do it, okay? Um, you wanna make sure, there you go, there we go. Okay, can you see that there? Okay, so, whoo, all right. I should probably switch legs at this point. But there you go. That's the movement with the band. And it's working. Oh, is it working. Okay. Now I know that is a little bit of a unique vlog today, but I'm just communicating with all of you what I'm trying to do to get to uh, Zagama as healthy as possible. Like, time is tight, three weeks to go-ish. So, I'm just communicating, that's all I'm doing. And actually, there's one more movement, one more exercise, little bonus for if you're still watching. This is something that I'm not doing quite yet. I will add it in likely on Monday, okay? The single leg stand off of a bench. Anybody can do this you know, anywhere with a chair, just a single leg, there it is on your screen. And do forgive me if the filming was a little, uh, not, uh, not, it's hard, it's not easy to film and get all the angles you want in shots while doing the exercises, but hopefully you could see them as best as possible. One last disclaimer, go see your doctor, go see your physio before trying these for yourself. And again, calling myself out, uh, it's my new job, all right? Can't just uh, sit around e eating Twinkies after a run, all right? I got, we gotta get on the ground and uh, make it hurt a little bit and uh, make it hurt, but you know, make it feel that resistance with the band, with the ankle weights, and create that resistance, create that strength in the hips and the glutes. All right, everyone, thanks for tuning in. Comment of the day, here we go. Sean Marshall, thanks for tuning in. He says, I love this vlog, it's great with the kids. I try as much as I can to involve my son, although he loves football more, it's all about bonding and enjoying family. Wow, thanks for the family and the adventure, Sean. Isn't that what it's all about? At the end of the day, keeping niggles, injuries in perspective, that's it. That's the ticket to life. Glass half full, everybody. All right, we will toss it, of course, to the full prehab vlog right here, right here, right here. All right, seek beauty.
work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.